What's up, y'all? We are back to another one. Let us get into it. First and foremost, please make sure to do what's on the screen. And I appreciate everybody coming on board supporting. I mean, yo, just an, it's, a, it's, it's an exciting time. Do you hear the excitement in the voice? Um, speaking of which, let's talk about this exciting thing right here. You know, these things do not release until 2025. They're not planning to release these until spring of 2025. What am I talking about? The Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Low OG Shy Pink. Um, the color on these sales, Shy Pink and Muslin, as you can see here. They retail for 150 when they come out next year, but we all know, of course, I mean, look, look, look. You, <laughs> I'm going to show you all what it is on these right quick. I mean, just, just, just look at the color. Come on, man. Look at the color transition in this, man. What? I mean, shit, yeah, these ain't going for no 150. Maybe like 750. Maybe 650 and a quarter. Ain't nobody about to get these. <laughs> to quote the great soul priority, US, he's killing it right now in the game. Shout out to you, brother. Ain't nobody getting these. <laughs> Not for no damn uh, 150 dollars. You getting them? You can get them, but you, yeah. Or. Or you can do like I just did for my wife. That's right. It's in her size, which is size seven, eight and a half women's. It's a size seven GS or men's sizes. I, I don't know too many men wearing this size, but who knows? It might be a brother that can fit this small feet gang on deck. So we ain't joking. Hey, brother, if you're hearing this right now, don't get mad about that. You can rock these and, and it'd be no problem, okay? Let me go ahead and just read what I got on the screen. So despite earlier assumptions that the collaboration streak might be cooling off, Travis Scott and Jordan Brand are gearing up to drop another version of La Flame's AJ1 or Air Jordan 1 Low in 2025. So these shy pink colors, all right? It, we think it's gonna come out like that, all right? Now, of course, this is mock-ups of the sneaker, but as we look at the left shoe, all right, we look at the insole, because we got the Cactus Jack right there, the Jumpman, who knows how these will come out. If they come out like this, they're killing the game early, okay, almost a full year ahead of time. Looking at here, we got the Air Jordan or the Nike Air sign right here. We got the, the Cactus Jack, and as usual, as I... Let me go ahead and show you all the size right quick. So I'm going to pause it so y'all can see. And then we're going to keep it pushing. Pink laces, sail laces. We got the nice hard outsole. So nice, durable, not bowing out hardly at all. That's what's up. That's what we want. Nice hard heel counter. Traffic. This, this right here is funny. It should just, the rest of these shoes should start coming out with a smiling face because he's, he's killing it. He's making money left and right. Of course, if he's not making money directly, uh, you can best believe these factories are. Like, come on, man. The suede on the toe box, on the quarter panels on them. I mean, look at that. Look at, oh, Lord. <laughs> ah, boy. Okay, let's put this right here. I'm going to get to the right shoe right quick. Not much difference in the box. Right here we have the YCM sticker. And I guess another way to try to, yeah, this is like some type of salt pack. So whatever, if it helps the freshness of the shoe, then that'll do, okay? But I, I, you know, I, I <laughs> y'all know I'm a sucker for materials, man. Like this, <sighs> I was thinking about it, right? And I was, I was, uh, so I got my wife a pair of these, as you see on the screen, right? I got my wife a pair of those, the Palominos, and I got her these because she, she never, I never got her a pair of Travis Scott Lowe's. Like I, I just, I was thinking about it. And of course I asked her first y'all, cause one thing you got to understand about marriage, you can assume all you, hell, even in a relationship, like I'm gonna school y'all a little bit right quick. All right, peep, peep, you know, hear me this. When you get something for a lady, right, or your wife, your girlfriend, whatever, uh, surprises are cool. Surprises are cool. But here's the thing. My wife is not a sneakerhead, so she's not really too worried about these things, okay? So with that being said, I definitely showed her pictures. I was like, yo, I was planning to get you these. Does this meet your approval? Because she's the one that chose the Palomino Jordan once. She didn't choose these. 
But I figured, you know what? She don't have a pair of uh, Travis Scott, you know, lows. Let me see what she, she messed with. So I showed her these, and then I showed her these right here on the screen. And besides going with a Neapolitan delicious sundae with the cherry on top, she decided to go with these shy pinks. And, I, and you know, she, she made a great choice. Let's take a look at the tumbled leather swoosh. Great placement on the swoosh itself, nice and sharp as you can see here. I mean, you know, this is shout out to the supplier that was able to get these out to me. Great job on the factory, great choice for him to even get these nice, you know, quality edition versions of the Jordan 1 Low. I've got the red lace in my hand here, pink lace, and then of course this the sail lace. She she really don't be changing laces out like that. So if she do, that's the uh, be cute. But she'll probably just keep it just like this. It's enough, you know, contrast. And, you know, I've been showing her different ways of how to do contrast with the shoes and the outfits and stuff like that. Not that she really need much help from me. Of course, she, she know how to style. But when she asks questions, I'm just going to answer it for her. We've got the toe box, the, puff, the toe puff, I should say. Nice. Let me get it closer so y'all can see the leather. Very nice for the tumble. So it's a, it's a tumble leather upper. But it's not much difference as far as just like a like a you know soft leather and tonight. It's actually pretty durable from what I can see here, um, and that's a good thing. That's definitely a good thing, you know. As I press down, you all can see. Yep. So didn't want to spend too much time on it. Just wanted to speculate on the shy pinks that everybody's been talking about. Um, most people, anyway. Some people probably don't even know these things exist. That's, that's just cool. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that at all. Matter of fact, I'm going to leave it right here. It's your man, Tykeese. So if you have any questions or concerns, hey, y'all know what to do. Hit me up on Instagram. Hit me up on the email you see right there. Hit me up and ask questions. That's closed mouths do not get fed. <laughs> okay, as y'all should know that already. I'm going to go ahead and get on to this next review. Can I do my own feet on these? Nope. Why? Because they're not in my size. Size 7. <laughs> Men's 8.5 women. My feet, of course, big feet gang on deck. I will talk to y'all later on. Thanks for dropping by, looking at the video. Deuces. It's gotta be easy, man. You gotta believe me. Yeah, it's gotta be easy. Why? Because life is hard.